Everybody loves collecting. Thought I'd do a quick reading. <coughs> Here's what it is, okay? <laughs> I ask you, Archangel Michael, to come down, God, and protect us as we channel the messages. Um, thank you, ancestors and ascended masters, for everything that you do, all your helpful healing messages. Um, I give you free will to go out and do what, what you what you need to do to balance out everything um, and bring justice to this situation. Um, any evil eye, any evil intent, any kind of gossip, je jealousy, envy, any kind of any kind of negativity sent towards me or my collective, I send back to sender tenfold. Okay, um, let's get on with this. See what, what they want to talk about today. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to get one of these and just see what the energy is. I'm not going to get the 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 signs. I'm just getting the elements in the, in the planets. Okay, um, what do you want to talk about today, um, ancestors and ascended masters? Y'all pay no attention to me. I, I'm, I just, I've been just piddling around in the house. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, what, 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 what is the energy for the collective today? Can you tell us what the energy is so I can get on with this? What is the energy for collective today? Oh, it's too much. Oh, Mars. Mm, that, mm. Mars energy. Let's have a look at that for a minute. He pretty good looking though, I gotta say. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. It said Mars is associated with, with the Mars of Mars is associated with Mars, the god of war. Mars represents some very powerful divine drives, such as competitiveness, assertiveness, and aggression. Issues about courage, confidence, passion, and strength are also a part of Mars' domain. So look, y'all be y'all uh, have courage and confidence. Okay, um, this this is also very very orange. Look, there's a mosaic nose on television. <coughs> a nose, okay? A nose means you know. You know something, okay? Okay, so... <clears throat> we got competitiveness, assertiveness, and aggression. Issues about courage, confidence, and passion, and strength are also part of it. Okay? You have courage... You have compassion. You have strength. Um, do you want do? If you don't, um, talk to, talk to the ancestors. Okay, um, talk to your ascended masters. Ask them. Ask the angels for strength and courage. Okay, um, to to do what you need to do. Um, to to get through this situation, um, with grace. Okay. And talking to them lets them know that you believe. And believe uh, it gives you hope, and hope is a conduct for miracles. Do you understand? I mean, you get it? Okay. Oh, exchanging gifts. Now, popped up out of there quickly. Okay. The 27, this is a 17. Mars is a 17, and the exchanging gifts is a 27. All right. It says a leg up. It's a 34. What else do they need to know? That would have went to the floor. It says, come to the edge, a 36. This is talking all about having courage and, and that you, you, you got what it takes. Okay? It says, not for you. What's not for you? What do you mean, not for you? Stay poised. Clean it up. Oh, you're waiting on divine timing. They want you to come to the edge. They want you to come to the very edge and trust them. Okay? Trust them. This one went to the floor. <laughs> Look, all I can say is that it's, it just keeps on happening. Look, y'all. 
This is a six and a nine mirroring each other. This is go to distance. This is a 48 and 47. This says a message is coming. Okay, it's a 15. We got cap ends of exchanging gifts and message in a bottle. Come to the edge, Treasure Island. A leg up, go to the distance. You see this? The middle the middle card is just telling you stay poised. Okay? Um, it's not the right time because things need to be cleaned up. Okay? Um, come to the edge, clean it up, a message coming. Exchanging gifts, not for you, a Treasure Island. You're going to have unexpected. This is all happening right now. What's showing on the bottom of the deck? It's happening right now. It's happening. Happening, happening. Well, all my cards are out of... Where'd they go? Okay. Let's see what, what one of these dream cards got to say. Paralysis. Somebody feels stuck. Somebody really feeling stuck. Tied up. Okay. It says, um... If you can't move or speak, it can cause great anxiety. The simplest explanation is that you feel helpless and trapped in some aspect of your life. For some reason, you're unable to move forward and perhaps because you can't decide on the best course of action. If you're disabled in a dream or a wheelchair or a disabled person appears, this may reflect on an aspect of yourself that's struggling to express itself or realize its potential. Goes along right along with this reading, man. Um, the confidence and, and, and that and that. Perhaps you're lacking confidence. What? Perhaps you're lacking confidence and have ambitions or goals you feel are beyond you. A situation may not have worked out as you'd hoped. Alternatively, someone may have hurt you badly in a way you might not even not have acknowledged to yourself. If your immobility results from being weighed down with heavy bags, this is a sign of taking too many responsibilities. You might need to, to say no more often and ask others to help you. Well, I've tried to, I mean, I've, I've been saying no, but I've tried to help. Uh, I've, been, I've been trying to ask them to help me. That's, that's the hardest freaking thing. I don't know why, because <coughs> I get told no. So I just quit freaking asking, okay? And then they're going to come to me and ask me, why don't you ask us for help? Because every single time, I get told no. Like, why on earth would I come to y'all knowing that y'all are going to tell me no? Why would I do that? You know what I mean? <laughs> and that leaves me like, oh, uh, anyway, well, anyway, what? Tell me how have you been, my blue-eyed son. <laughs> no telling what you hear on my playlist, y'all. It's crazy. Okay, exchanging gifts. <coughs> what? It says somebody. Hold on. They say not these, because I don't make no sense. You know, I won't put these up. Um, I want to clarify this. Um. These readings right here, which one? These. Leon Russell. God dang, that takes me back to the day back when I was like six, seven, eight. My mom would listen to Leon Russell on the, on the, uh, turntable. God dang, we'd clean up and listen to Leon Russell. Crazy. Okay, exchanging gifts. Two of shells, union and harmony. Some kind of, have courage, okay? Don't feel tied up. There's some kind of union coming, okay? Or reunion um, with this exchanging gifts. Okay, a leg up, please. What do we need? To... This was facing upward. <laughs> Empress. She's got a leg up because she, she knows shit, okay? Come to the edge. That was crazy. That was just laying on the top like that. Look, these are trying to do it too. Well, that's too many, but it's the prince that you keep, the, the frog prince. Come to the edge. Show me come to the edge. Rest sanctuary. Four feathers. 
saying be patient and wait on the wait on divine, I think. Okay, not for you. This is attainment and courage and solutions. Ten of crystals, stability, attainment, courage, and solutions. Huh. Divine timing. Oh, that's too many. Okay, this one stayed. The hermit is staying poised. Okay? <laughs> the hermit is staying poised. That's a nine in the center of the deck. Okay. What is, I mean, center of the reading. What is clean it up? That's too many, anyway. What is clean it up? The Queen of Crystals. Peace and compassion. Find some kind of peace within and understand that uh, divine has got you, okay? And just, just be at peace, okay? I know it seems like worry, worry, but <laughs> worry and worry and worry is just adds more worry. Okay, Treasure Island is a ten of feathers, recovery and transformation. You're about to get your treasure back that belongs to you. An awakening, renewal, and enlightenment. You're about to get your treasure that belongs to you. Go the distance. Go the distance. Ace of Feathers, Mental Clarity and Foundation. And the King of Shells, Harmony and Integrity. Go the distance. Okay, where is this message in a bottle? Ten of acorns, responsibility and de dedication. <clears throat> Someone's being responsible and telling the truth, it looks like. It says foresight, foresight and exploration. So, and these two too. Challenge and growth and energy and results. Okay, so you're about to receive uh, a message. Um, about this situation, just stay poised. It says ideas and discipline are coming up from the bottom of the deck. You're between two worlds. Um, you're a healer. Um, a shaman. Choices and ambition. And the eight of crystals, which is, um, um, this is destiny. Pretty much. Um, you have to wait on destiny. That's what they're saying. Bottom of the deck now is four of acorns, comfort, and community. So just be patient and wait on destiny. It's actually beautiful. And this is for, apparently, the Empress. She's who's out here. Okay. Uh, the King of Shells is out here. That's the only king out here. It's got the Empress and the Queen of Shells and the King of Shells. Oh, a divine couple. Okay, I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention. Y'all, no, it hadn't been long woke up. Well, I got up and I was peeling around. And, um, you know how it is. You know how them days are. I feel like I'm still. <laughs> Whatever. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me move. Man, I kind of want to leave these out here, but I want to be able to use this area. Okay, we'll move that up. I don't even know if you can see them now, but it's all good. Because this looks fabulous, man. Let me see what they want to tell us about this message. Oh, tell me where have you been, my blue-eyed son? Something, 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 something new. What's this at? Want to be a... Baller, shot collar, 20 inch blades on the Impala. Collar, get laid tonight. Okay. I want to know about the message. I don't even believe this. I was looking at this when I said I want to know about the message, and this is what come up. Finish. It says, go the distance. It says, finish. It says, Travel and have adventures. Money returns and time does not. Okay, well, it, 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 it takes money to travel and have adventures. Just saying, spirit. Just saying. Money returns. Time does not. 
We gotta have money to travel. Power on. I mean, it ain't. We ain't walking through deserts and shit no more. Okay, it says drained. It says lovers. It says moon. There's a secret. Toad. Told you that that frog prince. Oh, I'm gonna look this up real quick. I'm a baller. I'm a 20 inch caller. Okay. Um, what does toad spirit mean? Just tell me the difference of spirit. What is toad spirit animal? Toad spirit animal is prosperity and productivity. The toad spirit animal symbolizes growth and reno renovation. If you are looking for success in life and if toad is your animal spirit, do not hesitate. It says it symbolizes fertility, rebirth, transformation, restlessness, deception, and witchcraft. Wow. I didn't know it, it symbolized witchcraft. It says something about the moon and a toad. It says toads are a symbol of change due to their ability to transform their shape and adapt to their environment. They also represent harmony and balance. Feng Shui is fortune. The, the toad are, are, are uh, a, a Feng Shui symbol of fortune, prosperity, fertility, and abundance. Wow. Wowie zowie. I didn't know that they represented witchcraft. I just found that out, y'all. On the real. But it's fertility, fortune, um, all kinds of shit. But that, it says cleanse. It says soul. Cleanse your soul. Okay. Talent. Talents. It says ex acceptable. Your talents are acceptable. You're a teacher. Says a new birth. A new birth. Healing. Hippo. We're going to look up hippo again because I know it means um, to devour, but it also means like some kind of spiritual thing. I forgot. Hippo, please. Hippo spirit animal. Hippo is uh, as a power animal. It's a power animal. Um, when you have hit a creative wall, your aspiration lingers until you resolve the issue. The hippo um, helps you. The hippo helps you unblock blockages. It says it also um, has the innate ability to know what lies beneath the surface of any situation. See and speak the truth. The hippo means a a strength of knowing. In parentheses connects that is alive in the water. Hippopotamus teaches us that, that it is this knowing that we that we should use. To dream of oh it's just a dream of killing one. <laughs> guide and protect. The hip, the hippos here to guide and protect you with your knowing and seeing and speaking the truth. Okay? And it come out at the very end so it says this is the truth. Okay? This is the truth, y'all. Period. I want to know what I don't understand. This is the truth. Your town, you have a town, your soul knows something. You're a healer. Something about some lovers. Um, the toad is about fortune or witchcraft. You have the moon, which is a secret or mis mystery. It says finish yeah. for you to go the distance. Okay, we'll just set them to the side. Okay. Hey, let me read out one of these books. Hang on. While we swim. Why we swim, y'all? What do we need to know? What's collectors need to know? What's collectors need to know? You say the back? The back of the book? Alright, it says well being, y'all. The water cure.
I'm not sure what this is trying to say. I guess it's trying to just tell you about Cause see, look what it is. It's just a bunch of. <coughs> and there's that damn Benjamin Franklin again. I guess you're about to get the Benjamins. <laughs> Cause it says Benjamin Franklin. I mean, it says the water cure. Benjamin Franklin swam daily in times. Kate Stanton, American politician who loved skinny dipping. United Press International, August 20th, 2012. Philip Hoare, review of downstream uh, history and celebration of swimming the river times okay april 24 2015. one writer has called a mass of maladies it says the hit the historic healing power of the beach august 29 2013. water therapy became big business um spreading the news about hydrotherapy hydropathy that's what's called how did americans learn to stop worrying and trust the water cure Paper presented at the annual meeting of society in Baltimore, Maryland, 2012. Available in Rice University Digital Scholarship Archives. A journal dedicated to the subject, the motto, the Water Cure Journal. Look, I'm telling you, they want you to go, it says, wash and be healed. It was published between 1845 and 1862 and is available through an online database managed by the International Association with the Preservation Pers of Spiritualists. So they're telling you to go to water and, and get cured, and heal yourself through water. That's why. I'm, okay. Since that was just telling us a, an advice, we need to go to water and get cured, y'all. Or healed. Okay, page chapter 38, December 2019. That is so freaking crazy. Because something happened to me in December 2019. Wow. Chapter 38 is an 11. It's on page 274. Four, 11, 13, four. Okay, it says, I had no reason to limp. Now that I had passed my Q2, I was free of pain. Still, I stepped gingerly as I tidied the trailer after class, emptying the wastebasket and straightening stair chairs to distract myself from the throbbing foot. I jotted down some quick notes. I jotted down some quick notes, which students were stagnating how I could help. A burning pain shot at my leg from my toe, making me wince. I hope it wouldn't take long for the tattoo to scab over. Tattoo, question mark. <laughs> Nat Snip. Why don't we call a spade a spade? You've been branded like fucking livestock. It's a symbol. It's not, I'm not scared of pain anymore. How can you believe in that shit? She wrenched. It says, I gritted my teeth. My sister had been telling me how and what to think our entire lives. Oh my God, tell me about it. She thought she was smart because she didn't believe in anything. When I was in third grade, she haughtily informed me Santa wasn't real. Mom would have been happy to keep writing Santa's thank you letters, smudging them with chimney soot, eating all the cookies until we were left for college, and that not ruin the illusion. When we were teenagers, my sister decided she no longer believed in God. She pointed out the logic flaws, the inconsistencies in the stories we had grown up with. Okay, so if that resonates with anybody, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, it's cash app, dollar sign, angel moon, 6237. Okay, and we're going to find out what these unicorns want. Look, we need to go near water and heal. Okay, um, the water cure. Okay, um, so. Oh my God, y'all are not going. Look, I only have to show you. I do not even have to show you who is under that right there. <laughs> Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. <laughs> if you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. This might be pointing to being maybe a nanny or something because 
Dog, if this lady don't come out every time, every time. I have certificates in child care and shit. I have, um, I took classes in high school over it, and we watched children and stuff. But anyway, I've I, I worked at daycare centers, all kinds of shit. It says, I am a playful participant in life, and I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. <laughs> she go, man, I wish I had me a little motorcycle like that. I, that'd be bomb diggity, boy. That'd be the, that'd be it right there. I wouldn't need nothing else. Um, everyone's a teacher. It says, everyone, everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. The ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call a-holes. Um, they've, cho uh, they've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Today, I'm thanking all the a-holes. Thank you, a-holes. Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part in making my life, uh, making me a better person. Thank you, a-holes. I said, hey, what's going on? I said, hey, 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 hey. Oh, Lee Crud. Okay, well, since that landed a big pile over there, we're going to take the one that landed by itself. Knock this moon one off. It says, emotions are running high, and it knocked these three off of this. It says, someone stole from the, from the star and caused confusion. Okay. And this one. Is she going to get her money? Or the star, he or she going to get her money, get their money. Yes, yes, yes. It says, the idea of saying a giant fat yes to everything that comes your way might feel cheesy or over the top. But as a mindful exercise, the practice of, of yes can be incredibly freeing. Whenever you notice any resistance to something that, ha that is happening in your direct experience, such as a difficult emotion or difficult sensation, instead of pushing it away, Try saying yes to the feeling and see what happens if it feels okay to do so. So say yes to the feeling. Yes, 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 yes. I say yes to my freaking abundance and yes to the justice that's coming. Emotions are running high. What's, what's going on with the emotions? Okay, what you want to tell us about the emotions? P -p poker face, p -p poker face. <laughs> that right there always makes me think of dirty. <coughs> I don't know. I guess I got. I don't know. So kind of must be from my ancestors or something. But I don't think it like a like a poker face. Like you know, I think I, I see it different. Man, are you kidding me? I'm placing all my hope in scratch off lottery tickets. Those are the keys to the luxurious future I deserve. Stay afraid, but do it anyway. I don't even know how they were coming out like that. Mary Poppins, the scratch-off lottery ticket thing. That's amazing how it tells the same story. This time it's just talking about, it's not talking about him and his part and what he's doing or anything like that. Or, or, or her, your counterpart. It's not talking about them, it's just talking about you as the star um, everybody's a teacher. Um, you're a teacher. Um, we just learned that a toad is um, is abundance, and it also depicts that somebody's doing witchcraft. That's crazy. It says, do whatever you have to do. People always want to tell you how to do it. No, do it your way, and don't ask for, like, how can I do it? Do it. Figure it out. Okay, so I don't even know... Can you tell us when this damn... Okay. Alright, give me a date on when this damn money's coming. I doubt it will. Okay, give me a date when this money's coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, the it, the, the times are the plus sign landed in the floor, so... Something, something is timesing or plusing. It says August... 
Or'd you lie? What? There's five letters. Thong. Thong is the word. <laughs> Y'all can't make it up. <coughs> it dang says thong there. <clears throat> it says August or July. Okay. Um, could be July 8th or August 7th. Okay. Something happened in, in, in um, 1978 and 1987. Um, it says thong, period. Thong. I can't stand a fucking thong. I did not like that shit going up my butt. I don't care, man. I can't stand a fucking thong. <laughs> I don't care. It says, hun, GT. I want a GT. Anyway, it says, um, a ton, ton, tongue. Ton H G G H. It says though, like you know, though. It says something about gone. It says not. It says got. It says hot. Okay. Eng. Hot engine. Something made me say inch like that. Gent. Gino. Nog. Hog. Let's find out what. Let's find out what hog means. What is hog spirit animal? Max's favorite animal. Y'all, that just hit me. Oh, wait, oh, let me. What is a hog spirit animal? Greed, filth, and arrogance. Wealth and fertility. So the hog and the pig is greed, filth, and arrogance. It also is wealth and fertility. Okay, so for some reason, this popped up. Max's. Gosh, that triggered the shit out of me, y'all. Um, I don't know if y'all remember. I did a reading. It said um, something about a Max or Maximilian or Max. Or something like that in one of the books or something, and then it came out in the in the things. Well, last night before I was going to bed, you know, the 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 letters was talking about um, a mic and a MK and that and that and that. I have no idea where it was free, where it was coming from, but I was um, kept saying Max, Max, Max. I mean, it just kept like going over in my head. It didn't. The, the reading said nothing about no Max, but. There's a Max K, and I don't know who he is or who who it is, um, but I just keep on. Don't ask me why, but it's. Remember that reading that I did about counterpart having a triplet or a twin, and the tw triplet or twin's name is Max. Okay. So I'm wondering, that's kind of strange. I don't know where this is coming from, y'all. That max just triggered the shit out of me, man. Because last night before I went to bed, that's all I kept thinking about is this Max K. I have no idea. I don't even know nobody named Max. It says Max K, Max K. Um, I, there's, a, there's a cafe down here called Max Cafe. I tried to get a job at washing dishes, but they underestimate me. Um, won't let me try. That's my forte. Um, all that kitchen shit. Um, that's that's what I did. That was my that was my. I was a a cook and a server and you know um, 
besides child care. I've done all kinds of shit, but that was my main thing is um, working in kitchens and as well as being in child care. Done everything, landscaping, painting, <laughs> trim work, <laughs> framing. Oh, framing, so, well, it, it's all right. It's just, um, I don't like, I don't like roofing. It says, um, adventure. It says, dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. What? Okay, give me some financial help and I will move, baby. I will move. I promise. <laughs> Where should I go? Where's the YouTube studios at? I'll go to YouTube studios and, uh, and uh, get them to give me a, a little stage background. <laughs> what else do you want to know? What else does you need collective to know? It says delight. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in the simple things. Always expect the best. Okay, I'm going to leave y'all with that. Uh, prosperity lies on the bottom of the deck. It says a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. All right. All right. Well, if y'all like this, um, hit the like button, subscribe, um, uh, um, share it, comment. Um, if you want to donate to my channel, it's Cash App Dollar Sign Angel Moon Six Two Three Seven. For now, I'm trying to figure out another one. I, I don't, I'm not doing PayPal. Oh my God, man. I called them. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Anyway, I don't want to deal with PayPal. I don't want to deal with them. Okay, anyway. So, um, <laughs> um I'll be back, y'all. I'm going to, I'm, I'm probably going to take a walk. It's so beautiful. It's hot outside. So, you know, anyway, um, light love to you and uh, see you on the flip side.